Welcome back to the Coleman Farm YouTube channel. We got our Peterbilt 362 primed. It's taken, or I've taken a couple days to let it cure and dry out, make sure that uh, it, whatever shrinkage went on uh, from it drying already happened. We got our uh, Duragold guide coat, Duragold sandpaper, and our uh, Duraplock set. We're starting out with a 320. We're going to work our way up to 600 and uh, make this thing smooth. We'll then go ahead and wash this thing back off. And then we'll go ahead and do the wax and oil uh, degreaser wipe down and uh, get this thing back in the paint booth and get that single stage. Omaha, it's my custom mix that uh, I picked out at the shop. Uh, Omaha orange, single stage and uh, we're uh, getting, I'm getting excited. This, I mean, now that it's all one color, and uh, it's, man, this thing's looking real sweet. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. We are going to get to sanding a heck of a lot more and get this thing back in the paint booth. And if anybody was curious on what I meant by the, we sprayed this with a 2K urethane. Um, the high build primer and if you're wondering about oh shrinkage you know what is that this is just what was sitting in my mix cup and just from it being inside here it's already dried out and it has shrunk inside the cup so when you spray these high build primers it was recommended to give time between um, your coats for dry time and any shrinkage that may happen so just the uh, excess buildup. So if you sprayed a whole bunch of coats over each other real fast, uh, you're gonna possibly get some shrinkage underneath. And I mean, I guess it's the best example is just the uh, thick coat that's left inside my cup here, dried out and shrunk pretty good. So, but on my truck, it doesn't look like that. It's looking real clean and smooth. Like I almost had the thought of like, oh, I don't even need to sand. We'll just go ahead and spray over it. But no, there's uh, definitely spots that need to be touched up. So, back to sanding. show you guys real quick what uh i'm using got the dura blocks each one set up with a 320 great right now this is the hook and loop um so then i bought the hook and loop sandpaper for it um, i got big blocks and small blocks depending on which panel i'm working on so on these uh bigger pan or bigger areas i can work with bigger stuff and then these smaller areas i got a smaller block set up so Go ahead and put my respirator on now and get the sanding. gonna be it for today. I am 
roasting in the shop right now. It's 90 degrees today and I gotta need to go get some water. But I got majority of the cab block sanded out. Um, I did go around some of it with uh, by hand with the 320. Still gotta work up to 600. Um, but as you can see, the dirt, the uh, guide coat really does help give you a good idea of what needs to be sanded. Um, but putting my hand on here, it's definitely a lot smoother than what it was. I'm, I'm very happy. I think the paint's gonna lay down real nice once I get it all done. Um, let's go around to the front here. My kids are outside fighting. Hey, quiet right now. I got the scaffolding set up to get the roof done. And for the most part, everything's looking pretty good. A um, few spots that went through to the primer below, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and then I'll just come back over, get it down to the 600 by hand and touch everything up. But it's, uh, it's getting there, almost done. Probably uh, one more day to sand it all out and uh then we'll start cleaning it up and get it in the booth so check back with you tomorrow all right welcome back we are out here for another day got the scaffolding set up in the front we are still going to finish sanding out the back of the cab get that roof done pull this thing back out wash it off get it back in the paint booth and then wipe it down with our oil wax remover and uh Get this thing all masked off again and ready to paint hopefully tomorrow morning before it gets hot so let's get after it Take a second and explain maybe what I'm doing because otherwise I'm just filming a lot of time lapse and uh, doesn't really help I guess if you're trying to learn but I put the guide coat on it's a powder and then I'm sanding it until the guide coat disappears which then tells me that I have sanded it to the 320 and it's a smooth surface um, it also will show you where you got your highs and low spots, um, like right up here, there's this little low spot here, um, to where you can come back in, bring some more primer and, uh, try to build it up a little bit and sand it back down. Um, did fix a couple of spots, uh, that with a little bit of extra primer and then dried, sand it back out to where it's smooth. The, uh, the rivets, pain in the butt. Um, coming back in and hand sanding around these and trying to at least smooth that out as best I can. Um, the longer rivets, I uh, pulled out the small block that allows me to get in between here and then still going back and forth between it all until I hand sand. So, takes a long time. Now I know why guys charge 10 grand plus or whatever for their paint jobs because I don't even know how many hours I got into this now. I'd have to sit back and count it all up. But the time it goes into prep work, painting, I mean, it took me maybe an hour or so to prime this thing. Did not take long. But all the prep work leading up to it, that's a lot of time. So the amount of time in prep is... A lot and you can understand why guys charge a lot now but uh, I'm only with the primer and everything um, I'm still only 1200 bucks or so just in the paint alone so uh, my time is my time but it's at least saving me a lot doing it myself um, plus I wanted to do it anyways gonna stop talking and uh, Get back to uh, 
Sand him. I'm tired. And I think finally done sanding. Probably not. But I'm going to get this thing outside, get it washed, and get it inside the paint booth because I'm trying. Trying to get this done. So get the washing. All right, day, whatever, 100,000 million, I've been working on this thing. We got it washed. We got it cleaned up. We're gonna tear off the rest of this uh, masking, put new masking on before we go back in the paint booth. I left it on there to keep any water from blowing into the wind, inside the windshield, which some of it still got in there, but not a whole lot. Lost a lot of it, um, I pulled it out. So then the water is just dripping off the plastic and out. So um, just wanted to get that roof cleaned up and everything uh, turned out pretty good. A little water still on it, got the fan blowing, but everything feels really smooth. Got it down to that uh, 600 grit and uh, got to do the uh, oil degreaser wipe down first thing in the morning and make sure you get off any other dust and dirt that's still on there but um yeah looking pretty good i'm pretty happy with it and uh excited to see what the color is going to look like on it so stay tuned for paint tomorrow welcome back it's another day we're in the cab over. We got it all started up. Wait for the air to fill up. And we are going to back it back into the paint booth. I can not tell I'm a little tired. There's a couple days worth of sanding, block sanding, in 95 degree weather in the shop. So then uh drains it a little bit. But back up. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning and it took me a little bit of a while. It took me a little while to get out of bed because it's tired and this heat sucks. It's supposed to be a 90s to 100s this next week still. And I gotta get out here early to be able to spray with the hardener and activator that I got. It says it's good between 70 and 80, which only gives me until about 9 o'clock in the morning and then it's too hot. And, uh, we're already up in the 80s after that. So, gotta get this thing back in. Gotta remask everything off. I uh, pulled off the old stuff that was flaking the primer. Don't wanna create any dust inside the main booth. So, gonna remask. But at least today, I'm just focusing on trying to paint just the roof, get that done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll take the masking and flip it over the top of the roof and then just be able to do the sides, which should make it a lot easier because then I can set up my scaffolding and ladders, take care of just the roof. Once that's done, come back tomorrow, do the sides, make it a lot easier on myself. It sucks that I gotta do it in two different days, but with the time frame that I gotta spray everything in and being able to get it done before it gets too hot, and being able to not have to set up scaffolding, spray the roof, then try to get all the sides done real fast. I think that's the best way to do it. And I talked to a few other paint people about that and they kind of agreed and recommended the same thing. So that's what I'm going with. 
we're gonna go ahead and get this thing backed into the spray booth and get going. All right, we got the roof painted. Three, three coats, single stage. PPNG Essentials, Omaha Orange. I know you can't really see it from here, but it looks awesome. So, that uh, took me probably about an hour to get three coats on there. It's just a pain in the butt trying to move around with scaffolding and ladders. At least tomorrow, when I go to paint the sides, I can just use the ladders, I don't need scaffolding anymore, and I could probably just do it with the small one and just move around real quick with it. So, I'm excited. I'll uh, get back here in a little bit and check it out once uh, it dries and airs out. All right, the roof is done! Yay! So, that roof is like the most pain in the butt part and uh, not my favorite thing to work on because of having to be up here on the scaffolding and ladders. But that part's done now and I can move on to just doing the sides. Let's go. All right, it's day two of painting. Oh man, that roof looks good. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this whole thing fully coated in orange. It's gonna look freaking good. I'm uh, just gotta get a little more masking done and Wait a little bit longer. It's probably about two hours away before the temperature is right uh, for spraying. Just like I had to do yesterday. Wait until it got a little warmer and then this stuff laid down perfect. Right now it's about 50 degrees this morning. Really cool in the morning and then give it an hour or two and it'll shoot right back up into the 70s. Uh, so I'm gonna finish off masking the windshield, back engine compartment, and uh, I think I gotta do the door handle that I took off then the roof so that we don't get any overspray back on that because that thing turned out perfect so let's get after it and let's get this thing done i'm excited
done masking the truck off. I'm gonna change out my orange pre-filters and put in some fresh ones. Box bell. So it is time. Makes me think of like Bruce Buffer announcing the fighters screaming, it's time. Cause I'm, I'm getting excited. This thing is gonna look awesome. And I know not everybody likes orange, but it's my color and it's my branding for everything I do. So I'm excited, it's looking good. But now to just do the final wipe down and uh, get some paint in the gun. So we're gonna do the last oil wax remover, wipe down. Almost there. Put some gloves on, my spray bottle and towels. All right, I got the truck wiped down. We are going to mix up our paint, get in the paint booth and get some orange on this truck. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to see what this is gonna look like. All right, let's get after it.
went and had some lunch, took a shower. I'm definitely tired to say that this was a little project. Definitely not. I am uh, super stoked on how this turned out. It still, still gonna be curing, but man, look at that shine. I'm uh, pretty excited. So this was a custom mix Omaha orange that uh, I picked out and I like it. It's, it's definitely orange. You're not gonna miss me going down the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unzip the booth. We're gonna unmask this truck so I can finally see when I'm driving this thing, getting it out of here. But uh, I'm done. No more paint. Now I can move on to the other stuff. And Peterbilt, while I was painting, let me know that uh, my windshield gasket came in. So I called them a little bit ago and paid for that. And they're going to deliver my windshield pieces and the gasket tomorrow morning. So that will be probably the next thing going in on this truck. Put the windshield in. I ordered up some parts from four state trucks and what did I get? I got some fenders, ordered a bumper, but nobody has bumpers. So that's going to take like, I don't know, a couple months, they said. Hopefully it'll come sooner. Um, what else did I get? Got a few stuff, but I guess we'll, we'll do an unboxing for all that stuff later. But. At least I have all the box of parts that came off of this truck when I bought it. I can actually start putting my mirrors back on, get some of these lights back in here, and it's gonna start looking like a truck. So I don't know about you, but I'm freaking excited on how well this turned out. I mean, it's a good reflection. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a first time painter. But I did have one little run come off of that spot. There's like the tiniest little run that came off of that rivet. Um, and one other little, uh, so I will have to do a touch up. I didn't move the door when it was drying. So then it was actually opened all the way when I sprayed it and then I moved it and I kind of peeled it off a little bit um, which I should have closed that after I sprayed it lesson learned so I will have to do a little wet sanding here and then come back in and you know touch up that little corner of the door and uh, fix that little spot um, my big door that one seem to be fine uh, let's see is there any other spots I mean I can't my lips are really dry right now and I was like I'm gonna whistle but I can't I'm just excited that looks I mean shoot first time what this looks great it's is glossy so I use the PPG single stage essentials. Uh, it was a six to one mix. And damn. It looks good. I mean, that reflection. Ooh. I, I'm happy. I, I don't know. This is, I'm too excited. So excited. It looks good. I, uh, I'm happy. I haven't got my uh, little locks painted up. Even got in on the inside there. Under the engine compartment here, eventually I'm gonna paint black. And then we'll probably, and then you get a new uh, heat shield and stuff. But, man. That is good. Don't tell me it don't, because I don't care. But 
I'm excited. Let's get this thing unmasked and uh, get it out of the boot. Yeah. All right, it's getting hot. It's getting darker now. It's still hot in the shop is what I meant to say. But we got her unmasked. And what better way to end with a cold drink? Cheers. Long board. A little angry orchard for the lady. But, man. I think it looks good. Glass comes tomorrow, and a whole lot more projects to come. But we are uh, getting closer, getting this thing back on the road. So you guys have yourself a good night, and I'll catch you on the next one.